and success in terms of inclusive growth. What has your policy been towards inclusive growth in Bangladesh? The financial inclusion has been my strategic agenda. And uh, with financial inclusion, we have been able to maintain financial stability. I need to explain that how these two are interconnected. You know, if you have deposits from millions of people, you know, there will be a strong base for liquidity. And even if a certain percentage of those uh, depositors, you know, leave a bank, but you still have a substantial base for liquidity. So that will not be, you know, an unsustainable. If you really give, uh, again, uh, loans to uh, many uh, entrepreneurs, particularly small and medium entrepreneurs, thousands of them, you know, they will not walk out of the bank all on a sudden, you know. Maybe someone will go, someone will come in. So you have a stability on the, on the loan uh, distribution as well. So from both sides, so you have a diverse kind of, you know, you know uh, deposits and also you have diverse uses of that de deposits to vary uh, as uh, types of entrepreneurs, you know. So that gives a, a lot of stability in the financial sector. Of late, you know, banks are really moving towards, uh, uh, you know, smaller entrepreneurs, towards farmers, sharecroppers, small and medium entrepreneurs, particularly women entrepreneurs, out of their corporate social responsibility. You know, they want to reach the people and uh, this creates a lot of, uh, you know, domestic demand. The income of the smaller segments uh, goes up and that creates a domestic demand, you know. Uh, and in a, in a global financial crisis situation, if you can increase domestic demand, even if the external demand weakens, say for example, exports to Europe at the moment is weakening, you know, because of their lower demand. But if we can make that up, if we can compensate that with a higher domestic demand within the country, then you still become stable. So I have followed that policy and that financial inclusion policy has led to a very sustainable six plus growth. And again, the growth is a quality growth. The growth has happened without really increasing the income inequality index called Gini coefficient. Obviously one of the main focuses, and to some degree we can credit technology, and in particular your policy towards technology, as really improving the situation not only in the financial sector, but also abroad. Would you tell us a little bit about your position towards technology? We have automatic clearing house, we have uh, in a, uh, an automatic uh, uh, credit information bureau online. You know, earlier it used to take months to clear a you know, loan application uh, or, uh, whether they are default or not, you know, the default or not. But now you can do it in seconds, you know. We have an automatic dashboard, you know, online dashboard, you know, that will tell you which bank is doing what in foreign exchange, you know, in our, uh, uh, loans and portfolios. We have a, a national payment switch now in place. So every uh, everyone making a payment touches our our switch and that has been encouraging the uh, e-commerce there was not even one e-commerce site in bangladesh but over the last 5 years thousands of them have really come up so uh, we we didn't have a you know mobile banking here in bangladesh but but by 2011 we gave a guideline for mobile banking you'll be happy to know as many as 25 million bank accounts have been opened on the mobile bank alone you know this is something which is more than 50 million dollar you know in a in a transaction taking place every day and 80 percent of the rickshaw pullers you see in dhaka they make regular payment to their families through mobile banks all the maids all the drivers all the garment girls they regularly use mobile phones to pay to their families, to all the utilities and others, you know, all of these are happening through mobile. So we will be one of the f fastest growing nation in terms of mobile financial services in the world in a couple of months time. You know, as of today, we are second largest in the world. Obviously, looking back on the last 10 years, Bangladesh has seen staggering growth figures, 6% plus for the last 10 years. Where do you see Bangladesh in the next, say, five to 10 years in terms of its growth? 
there is no limit to our dream actually you know we we really want to have a, a growth which is double digit and that is achievable i tell you you know if we have peace in the society if there is an inclusive kind of uh, growth process which is going on if we can sustain this uh, double digit growth is our dream but i know that that is not immediately feasible so our uh, target uh, you know this year is to have at least 6.5 uh, uh, you know percent growth next year we want to go 7% the next year we want to go 8% and at one stage we want to go double digit so that's the scenario by 2021 we should be able to grow in the double digits if we can put all the infrastructures because one of our deficits is our infrastructure which is pulling us behind and for that Nita, we need huge amount of energy and for that matter we need huge amount of foreign f direct investment.